Buckle up, buckaroos. Um, I'm pissed, and I'm going to vent today. And this is going to be about um, the virtue of selfishness. Uh, it's kind of an Ayn Randian philosophy, and I like Ayn Rand. Um, I know that she's, like, kind of lauded by a lot of people, but um, if you really look into a lot of what she says, it makes a lot of sense. But um, anyway, I got a new job, and I work at um, a pawn shop now. I'm a pawnbroker, and I love it. Um, it's a really cool job. It's like the bartending of retail. But um, anyway, a lot of don't give money to homeless people. <laughs> Don't do it. They they want drugs. They want and it doesn't it doesn't help people. It doesn't help anyone. Um it's like uh chair it's like how charity doesn't uh, like whenever like give a dollar to uh round up your purchase to the dollar to give to this thing and it's really like some tax exemption for like whatever organization and it doesn't really fucking do anything at all it's it's uh it's like a um what are they called whenever i i can't even think of the fucking word right now um i don't know why i can't think of this word you know whenever you write a list or whatever to get somebody banned um you know what i'm talking about hopes and prayers, that kind of thing. It doesn't fucking do anything, guys. There there are not good people. There are not bad people. There are just people and everybody is a piece of shit. And honestly, my philosophy in life is uh, the biggest virtue and the best thing that you can do for anybody is taking care of yourself. Um, it just, it's irksome to me now whenever I see and hear people running around asking and looking and expecting for handouts. It's, it's like everybody has a sad fucking story. Everybody's been through shit. Everybody has needed help or whatever like I like you know working and doing something and wanting tips or busking or you know like if there's a homeless dude playing guitar or something and he's busking for tips that's one thing like at least he's doing something but somebody just sitting there like with his fucking hand out, fuck that guy. He just wants drugs. There's plenty of food opportunities for them to get. There are plenty of programs that lots of hardworking people's money are going into being wasted, uh, going into food and shit. Like, do not fucking give those people money. I don't... Um, the reason I say that there's a lot of virtue and selfishness is that like, look, if you're taking care of yourself, if you learn how to take care of yourself and anybody can every, like if I can do it, anybody can do it. You, you can learn how to be responsible for yourself. You can learn how to take responsibility for your own life. Anybody can. And almost anybody. Like, I understand that there are some people. It, it, it's a multi. Uh, these are all multifaceted and very complicated issues. But nine out of ten times, most people that, like, especially people that you see panhandling. People that you see panhandling, usually, usually people that uh, are genuinely in crisis do not have time to panhandle. But, um... When it comes, like, trust me, I, I have um, been in tons of government institutions. Like, I have been um, locked up in psych wards, like, with 
homeless people loads of times. Like I'm, I'm familiar with like the ins and outs of this kind of bullshit. Um, but whenever it comes down to taking care of yourself, other people don't have to fucking do that for you. When you learn how to take care of yourself and you learn how to, um, do things for yourself, then you're taking a load of responsibility off a ton of other people. You are taking work off a shit ton of other people's backs. You are, you're really doing a lot for a lot of people when you pay your own bills. You are doing a lot for a lot of people whenever you learn how to put food on your own fucking table. Whenever, like, whenever you stop worrying about, like, oh, I'm, go I'm gonna be a saint and I'm gonna do all this for all these other people. Like, don't fucking worry about that. Worry about yourself and taking care of your own. And then other people aren't worried about doing that shit for you. And um, I think a lot of people get, like, hung up on how they look to other people and how being charitable and doing this or that, or even like saying or having these opinions on like doing this or that for other people are, are making them look or something without really understanding what that kind of looks like. And, and I know a lot of the broad statements and stuff that I'm saying sound controversial, but I think they only sound controversial because nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. Just because like something sounds like a nice idea, like it sounds nice to give money to a homeless person. But I mean, just because somebody's homeless doesn't mean that they are needy or that they are good. You know, homeless people are fucking derelicts. They are fucking crackheads. They fucking rape each other. They steal from people. They steal from and, and, and not because like they need it for food, not because like and. And, and I think what like kind of escapes a lot of people is that just because somebody is schizophrenic or just because somebody is like really mentally ill, that like it doesn't mean that they can't suck. Like fucking schizophrenic people can really goddamn suck. Um, I've been locked up with lots of schizophrenic people and they fucking suck. Like I've seen schizophrenic people molest people and like they've, they've, when they were kind of in, in lucid states. So I, it's, I, I don't know, like people get like this idea that um, just because somebody is like at one disadvantage that they kind of like start, um, and, and I get having a soft spot for some people. I get like, I'm, I'm not saying that nobody, that these things aren't real problems and that things, these things don't like, uh, of course there are people that need help. Of course there are people that need medications. Of course there are people that are not ca as capable as other people and that they, they do need help. Yeah, sure. Sure. But um, we way broadly overgeneralize this problem, and uh, and it's gone way far over the scope. Where I just think that like people who don't need that kind of assistance are begging for handouts, and I, and and I think that the kind of assistance that people expect are or feel entitled to are definitely it, it's I don't it's it's just kind of gotten ridiculous um capitalism is way cooler than communism um and I think that a lot of people would be a lot would be like really, really surprised at <laughs> this video is a mess. <laughs> this, video, oh, this is going to be, the comments are going to be fun. Uh, and I'm, I'm here for it. Um, 
that's that's what I got going on right now. Uh, I work at a pawn shop, and there are lots of homeless people, and they all suck. Um, yeah, some of them, sure, they need assistance, they need help, they need medications. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Um, not all of them need that much. Some of them just need to. It's it's a, a lot of a lot of times it's, they're not all homeless. They're not. I mean. They're not, of course, they're not all homeless, but they're not all schizophrenic. They're not all war vets. They're not all, um, a lot of them just need to fucking get off their ass at work. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of the times that's the case. A lot of the times people just need to discover the virtue of being selfish. And, um, just because, um, uh, and one thing that I think people really need to consider about capitalism is that uh, there would still exist charitable organizations like that would still like that's a thing that can still totally exist. That's a thing that like that it would still be profitable and it would still like it's a thing that would sort itself out. And um, there are lots of other solutions that we can propose without having to fucking put that into government programs that are not doing like we have government programs we have government programs and they're not doing shit it's making everything worse it is all fucking stupid anyway i have i have opinions i have opinions and um obviously i don't have solutions i just have opinions i have a lot of very strong ones um and this is probably why i make really crappy tips because I don't keep my mouth shut. Anyway, y'all have a good day.